On today's episode of Cult America, I am in Athens to see what remains of ancient Greece. I'm pretty amused by the fact that surrounded me are young people, modern architecture, modern attractions, and a 10th century monastery. That's not even the oldest structure in the city. So this is Hadrian's library. It's from 132 AD. It was built in typical Roman architecture style. The thing that makes an impression on me is not the structure itself so much, but what appears to be a well next to the structure. I like seeing these functional pieces of architecture. It kind of tells a story of real people living there with some of the same needs that we have today. The thing that really strikes me about the Roman Agora is actually just how little has been left standing, and why so little is still standing today. So we're on our way to the Acropolis, and I took a look at this building beside me, and I was shocked at how old it is. And it's funny because it gave a lot of perspective in comparison to the place we're going to visit and some of the other places we've already visited in this video, that building is practically brand new. It's really strange, it seems like no matter where I go in Europe, things just keep getting older and older. When I'm wandering around Poland, for example, it's amazing to see a church on Krakow's Market Square that's a thousand years old. And uh, it's almost becoming hard to comprehend just how big the dimension of time is. And it really has to be looked at in proportion. I mean, paleontologists, for example, would come here and feel that this is so modern it's barely even worth looking at, and I'm just flabbergasted. You know, I once visited a modern amphitheater in Qatar, and that gave a big impression because it was so overwhelming to speak and hear your voice throughout the whole entire theater. But this gives a different kind of impression. This reminds me of the fact that although ancient people had maybe different tools and less technology than we have now, in many ways, society was exactly the same. People conjured around to watch a spectacle. We were people then, and we're people now. We think of things as being old, but this sunlight rains on my face the same way it rained here when the people built the Acropolis thousands and thousands of years ago. I'm supposed to be feeling that this is ancient and different somehow, but the longer I'm here, the more I feel that humanity has been modern all along. All right, I was getting kind of philosophical before, but uh, now that I'm around a lot of other tourists, I realize that there is at least one big difference between the people of then and now. Every person on this hill has either a camera or an iPhone, and instead of looking at this once-in-a-lifetime view, they're playing games on social media, and that's a little bit depressing. One interesting observation about walking here is that in some places it's so slippery that it's almost like you could ski. And uh, it's not every day that you walk a road paved in marble. So looking at the Temple of Athena, it's unbelievable to imagine that people here worshipped just as much as people worship Jesus today. I mean, it was really a real God to the people who believed. And what remains is, of course, an amazing piece of architecture and memory. I wonder if 7,000 years from today, when people look back at our creations, our legacy, what we leave behind, what they will make of the God or gods that we currently worship. 
So when I decided that I would come here to Greece to see some of what remains in the ancient world, I had a very romantic vision of what that would mean. It was going to be me, pillars, abandoned wells, the type of places that really can, can move you and touch you to the soul. And although I think these places are worthy of those emotions, they're so overrun and overflowing with tourists that the reality of what they mean, time capsule thousands of years standing here on a hill, is kind of tarnished and wanes. So would I recommend someone come here to visit these sites? Yes. Absolutely, but I think you have to calibrate your expectations for the fact that you are going to be sharing it with every other American who you went to school with. My name is Ryan Sokash. Thank you so much for watching Cult America. Please write me in the comment section below what are your favorite places in Athens.